am not a dance monkey. Did you hear what I said? I am not a dance monkey. Over the last few weeks and maybe even a bit longer, I get, keep getting inundated with requests to make videos. I mean like, people are willing to pay me to do happy birthday messages or hellos. People want to come and shoot a video with me because uh, they're idiots <laughs> and they think I'm gonna do one with them for free or they are very respectful and they want to pay me to do a video with them and you know, I'm very flattered. In fact, I'm flattered by all the requests, but I am not a dance monkey. I make videos with who I want to make a video with and then I take their permission to make a video but I also pre-warn them that the video will be everywhere. It will be every single place. Okay, so let me tell you how I start my day. I first, let me take this garbage piece of paper. I first will post a video to my Insta stories, then to my Insta feed. Then I will post it to uh, my Roshan YouTube. And then I will post it to my Sam's Taylor YouTube. Then I will post it to my Sam's Taylor Facebook. And then I will post it to my Sam's Taylor Facebook Reels. And then I will post it to the Sam's Taylor Google. And then I will post it to Yelp. And then I will post it to Roshan uh, Facebook. And then I will post it to Roshan Stories and then I will post it to Roshan Reels, and then I will post it to Sam Taylor Twitter, and then Roshan LinkedIn, and then Sam's Taylor LinkedIn, and then TripAdvisor, and then TikTok feed, and then TikTok stories, and then Roshan WhatsApp, and then Sam's Taylor WhatsApp. So off the top of my head, that's 19 different places that I will post that side-by-side -side video. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I thought it was 20 or 21. Uh, something else might pop up into my mind in a couple of minutes. So, <laughs> but even if they've given me permission and I tell them all the places that the video will go, it usually scares the shit out of them. They say, no, 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 I'm not gonna do the video with you, which I'm fine with, all right? Um, but those who meet, meet that filter process, okay, then know to expect that the video will go everywhere. The content is mine. I own it. There is no second take. It's one and done. Am I a fool to not accept money? Like say someone is paying me a thousand bucks Hong Kong per pop for a video. Video is 60 seconds, right? Um, you know, that's 130 US dollars. That's 100 sterling, right? It's over 100 euros, right? I mean, that, that's nice pocket money, right? Say I did a video every single day. However, I am not a dance monkey, okay? I don't do a second take. I don't work to someone else's script. I do plenty of public speaking for free. Happy to do so, okay? But then I dictate the content of, of, of what I spit out. I am not a dance monkey. I am very flattered. Okay, that you guys love my videos. Please keep liking and sharing them, commenting them on them. I love hearing what you guys have to say. I mean that honestly. But <laughs> if you think <laughs> that you're going to be able to pay me to make a video and I will dance to your tune, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I've had a spate of cancellations. I guess it's a big Sunday night, maybe in North America. I have no idea. But I had five people that I had consultations to do with that you know, I've woken up to, say, to them saying that, you know, can they move it to later in the week, which is very unfortunate. It was a gentleman in DC, another gentleman on the East Coast, another gentleman, God knows where, a gentleman in California, um, and then a woman in South Carolina, and then and actually six. I had a presentation as well to Australia, and he asked to do it in three hours. I, I, don't, I don't have time in three hours. So I'd like you to all like and share the live. I will do one call, quick call to, uh, to Canada uh, and then I will show you uh, something interesting and then I'll take your question so I hope that's okay with you guys but please help me to like and share the live and hopefully this client will answer the phone again like and share the live like the living hell out of it share the living hell out of it TikTok I'm back with you after weeks break I wanted to juice up my YouTube so I broadcasted on YouTube for a week to see how that was that's going Hi, Douglas. Hi, how are you? I'm good, buddy. You're looking very handsome. Thank you. Are you alone in the car? 
No, with my with my my, my partner, we're just driving driving right now. Okay. Are you on the highway? Uh, no. You can pull over for one minute. Um, sure. I think that would be better. Okay. It would be safer. Oh, I can drive. No, no, no. I would love for you to see it. Just pull over. It will only be a couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay, great stuff. Where are you in Vancouver? Yeah, Vancouver, yeah. It looks very dreary. It is very dreary. It, it's very dreary here in Hong Kong as well. It's depressing me. It takes a lot for me to get depressed, bro. But I, I'm, I, like, I haven't seen the sun in two weeks. It's just killing me here. Yeah. Same here. What kind of car do you have? Next uh, three. I love the see-through roof, man. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it helps see the rain. Is it always see-through, or you can mask it? No, it's, uh, you can mask it with black, but it's just mostly open. But is it open right now, or is it glass windows? No, it's glass right now. I think it's phenomenal. Great stuff, man. Yeah. I need to buy a new car. <laughs> I just can't decide which one. Those are great. I need to buy a tank. Like literally, I need a gigantic Mercedes, you know what I mean? I want to, I like to roll up, you know what I mean? When, I, when I'm out and about, you know, and, and pe- my friends have their cars, I want to show them that my car can swallow their car. I'm, I'm being serious here. <laughs> uh, I'm not making this up, yeah, you know what I mean? I like giant big black tanks. So I have this gigantic <laughs> big black Mercedes, which can swallow a Ferrari, no yeah. problem. Anyways, yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. your time. I'm going to turn the camera around, okay? Sure, okay. All right, you can see me fine? Yeah, I can see you. Great stuff. Fiance, are you okay? Yeah, she's good. Okay, great stuff. So here is your new uh, astounding velvet jacket oh, in which, which you're going to get married in. Yeah, wow. Come take a look. It looks really good. Well, take a few moments and, to, and, and then make judgment. So what do we have? Green velvet, green velvet, yeah. Mazzoni velvet. And you made amazing decisions. And this is definitely uh, a, a, a much more worked up version than the original jacket that you had from us, which was velvet as well. I've given you raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons, absolute raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons. Really beautiful. Yeah. Satin faced narrow shawl collar, okay? It's very James Bond, mm-hmm. but you're a bigger guy than Bond. So I wanted to do a more narrow lapel for you. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Barquetta breast pocket. You have, gosh, that looks really good. Yeah, well over six jackets from us, but this is your first Barquetta breast pocket with the curve and kick, and even with the narrow shawl collar, I still get an overlap over the breast pocket. Mm-hmm. And luckily, you listen to me and let me adorn the breast pocket in satin, so it really pops. The breast pocket, of course, you can put your glasses yeah, yeah. in there, you can put the vows in there, you can put your speech in here, you can put a handkerchief in here, business cards in here anything you want, nothing at all, or you can pull out our built-in pocket square. That looks really good, yeah. Awesome, right? Absolutely yeah. awesome, I love, I love it. it. I love that. As we come down the jacket, you can see my signature pockets, the three pocket look, slanted uh, uh, pockets, low float on the ticket pocket, and satin covered pockets. Again, it screams <clears throat> royale overlapping buttons on the cuff and raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons at all times you wear one button open just the one button open but the full cuff is functional of course as you can see and they're overlapping raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons wear one button open at all times however the full cuff is functional okay Full cuff is functional. Beautiful. The inside awesome. of the jacket yeah, really is my glorious golden butterfly. The lining yeah, is really so soft. And I have built you these underarm pads. This will take the wear and tear and not the lining. And the great part about the underarm pads is they're built out of the velvet itself. Why? Because it adds to the artisan. I love it that I've got this floating velvet for you inside. The underarm pads are piped to reinforce them and hold them in place. And they're actually piped in the lining itself to add to the artisan once again, okay? You have these glorious lockaway pockets. Look at this flap, it's got the button hidden. There's a button underneath. 
you can utilize the flaps easily by just tucking them in and putting your hand in easy in and out if you don't want the hassle of flaps. Or you can pull out and secure whatever needs to be secured, such as the wedding ring or your other girlfriend's phone numbers. And you can even hide the button. Okay, that was a terrible joke. You shouldn't amuse me by laughing. <laughs> Same thing this side, hide the button or simply tuck the flap in for easy in and out. Okay? Your name spelled correctly. You have a very powerful name, DJ Saxon. You know this, right? Thank you, yes. Spare, it looks perfect. Spare buttons, one big, one small, all charcoal yep. pull, all charcoal pull everywhere. You have a utility pocket for all those cigars you're going to be smoking. Those will turn into cigarettes after the wedding. You realize this, right? There will be nothing to celebrate. Lower pocket. Your fiance hates me, by the way. Lower pocket for a smartphone and a charger for all those photos and videos you're going to be taking. Slight roping on the shoulder for a more European look. The shawl, of course, runs around the back of the collar and I have a contrast color felt. Underneath, this is Vitaly yeah. Barbaris flannel in green. A closed back. I wouldn't cut open velvet. And let me put this on so you can see what it looks like. I think it's magnificent. Nice armhole, a high armhole. It's very European. Oh yeah, looks great. Looks good, huh? Yeah. And you'll be able to see the roping on the shoulder properly when it's actually on you. So you'll have a nice Daniel Craig James Bond perk up at the end. So here he is here. Here's him wearing one of the velvet jackets yeah, yeah. with the roping on the end. This is one of the tuxedos with the roping on the end. You'll notice it. It's the first time that I've done this for you. Just a little bit of a kick up. Do you have any questions for me? No, it looks great. So it's, that, that'll ship soon then? That's fantastic. Yeah, you'll get it by Christmas. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Sounds all right. Okay, so I have a couple of shirts for you. The main shirt okay. is this one here. Take a look at the workmanship and the artisan. So a brilliant white on white uh, cotton. Okay, the secondary white thread, it just gleams off it. There's a lot of natural sheen to it. A narrow front placket with real mother of pearl buttons. On the collar, you have hand needle and thread stitching. Dot, 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 hand needle yeah. and thread stitching in gold, in gold thread. Yeah. Inside the collar, you have the golden butterflies. Yeah. On the cuff, you have my dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching. Yeah. Okay. Looks really good, yeah. The cuffs you can button, or you can even cuff them. So you button inwards, and when you cuff, you cuff outwards, just like that, okay? And you can really show yeah, off the pick stitching. You can do the same on this side as well. Now, the cuffs have the golden butterflies underneath. Yeah, this looks awesome. And when you wear the shirt open neck without a jacket, you turn the shirt back, turn the cuff back, excuse me, and you button backwards to lock it in place. And you show off the golden butterflies. Okay, yeah, with, the, really with cool. the open neck shirt. That's amazing. And you can even accessorize in that look by turning the cuff backwards and slotting the cuff link in. So you can accessorize in the short look also okay perfect cool yeah it looks really, really good yeah awesome. and then as per your request one super plain classic white shirt with nothing going on the adjustments yeah, are exactly. the extra the extra cutaway on the collar that are done for you the narrow placket yeah. the mother of pearl buttons and the dual functionality of the cuffs so you can actually button them and of course or, you can yeah, cuff them, them. Okay. Any questions from me? Awesome. No, it looks really good. I'm really happy. Okay, great stuff. I'm happy too. Are you going to come to Hong Kong? Uh, I will 
not be. Okay. So what can I make you next? In the new New Year's, uh, too long away. I'm talking about next week. I'm talking about the new month. Okay. God bless both of you. I'm grateful to you. Awesome. And you'll reach out on shipping and everything else. We can figure that out. Yeah, I'll figure that out with you. Don't worry. I'm coming to Vancouver. I will take you to lunch if you let me. Awesome, of course. I'd love to show you around too. All right, great stuff. God bless you, dear friend. All right, we'll I'll soon. talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So, like I said, I had six people bail on me today. Five of them in North America, in, in the United States, coast to coast. One of them a woman, one of them a man, and one person from Australia. So, you're stuck with me, actually. Um, but I wanted to show you something that I just completed the other day. Now, this is a safari suit. Now, whether you like it or not, the color scheme, whatever, it's the client that likes it. But I make a lot of interesting stuff. And, and this is an actual safari suit for a safari. Uh, but it's a little bit on steroids and stuff, right? So you've got four action pockets here. Can you see the action pockets? The action pockets. See the gorgeous flaps in a contrasting color. This is all gabardine, okay? To fight off the elements. It's a wool gabardine not a cotton gabardine, so it doesn't wrinkle at all. And it really is for a safari. You can see underneath the pocket flaps, they're fully lined. These are real horn buttons. These are true action pockets with just glorious pleating. And there's four of them. I'm very proud of this. It's got a placket front uh, and it's got cuffs like these. Can you see? They're not gauntlet cuffs. I'm wearing gauntlet cuffs, but they're beautiful wraparound cuffs with a Tarzan button underneath. Very nice and quirky, great workmanship. I'm very proud of my team. I'm proud of Tarzan. I'm proud of Nelson, I'm proud of Manny, I'm proud of Seafell, I'm proud of Josephine, whoever worked on this project. All the cuff holes are functional. You can see four overlapping buttons here, very unique stuff, very one of a kind. We haven't done this sort of configuration before. My regular watches, you'll know that it's our safari take on a Tarzan, where you've got four overlapping buttons here. And then on this elongated cuff here, you've got the larger Tarzan button. Okay, safari suit, Tarzan style for the safari. Uh, all of these buttons, are functional. This is for an in-person client from Florida. I think Miami, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I cannot remember if it is Miami or somewhere else in Florida. But you can see all real horn buttons and a fully functional working cuff. And of course, the ability to turn up the sleeves uh, and, and play around. You can button backwards, of course, just like the shirt I showed you, and lock this, the, this detailing into place or you can roll up as far as you want or pull up. So you've got that on both sides. This glorious, super soft lining on the inside. My built-in underarm pads, all the pocketing with the flaps and the name spelt correctly, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Epaulets on the shoulders. They're fully functional epaulets. They work. They're not just dummy epaulets that actually don't work. They're fully functional epaulets. Uh, I should take off my jacket and I'll put this on and show you what it looks like. And I'm not filling time. I'm actually showing you something that I really like. But I've made a lot of safari jackets before for a number of years now, at meaning showing them up on the live or in a side-by-side -side video. You can see very military-like. It definitely looks better on the person than uh, on the hanger. It's hard to interpret, I think, uh, if you don't know my stuff. It's hard to interpret when you see it on the hanger. So this is a true for safari jacket for a safari. But I think there's plenty of use uh, after the fact, after the safari with a jacket on its own with jeans or other trousers. I think it's very, very cool. Here's a real raw belt that we built by hand. This is built by Nelson. This is a real raw safari jacket. This is a real raw belt. Can you loop me up? There's a loop at the back, you see? Great stuff. So, you don't have to wear it open. You can leave it like this, a la James Bond. Isn't that cool? It's so Roger Moore. It's so Sean Connery. Or you can buckle up, pull it as tight as you want, and adjust it. I think that the fact that we built this stuff from scratch for everybody's whim is just a testament to the brilliant stuff 
that we do day in, day out here at Sam's Taylor. Can button this all the way to the top. I think I look just, I, I look fantastic. I look absolutely like Sergeant Pepper. Who knows who Sergeant Pepper is? Does anybody know who Sergeant Pepper is? I think I'm the only one who knows everything on the planet. Let's see if we get this button through. Everything is so tight, 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 just the way I like it. Brand new buttonhole. There we go. Tight, tight, tight. Sergeant Pepper, check it out. I am definitely fucking James Bond, man. And then pants to go with it, of course. These have buckles on them and cuffs. So very eccentric outfit. And I'm constantly working on very eccentric stuff. Again, you guys don't get to see everything. You see certain clients on live streams. You see certain clients. We talked about uh, you know who I do side-by-side -side videos with. But I'm working on amazing stuff all the time that just blows me away. It's unique and dynamic. So you keep asking me, what's my favorite suit? What's my favorite suit? I'm, I'm, I'm making such amazing things every day. How could I possibly answer that? I'm making so much stuff every day. How can I possibly uh, remember? Uh, and you know, even if I just popped into my office now and picked out some of the stuff that I'm working on to show you, I think you'd be blown away. In fact, maybe I should do that since I've got you guys here. And whilst I have you here, are you, still, are you liking and sharing the live for me? Let me take this off. I'm actually very proud of this work. So I've made a lot of safari blazers before, especially for my client Shane Toomey that have come out just awesome. I have a client in Venezuela. Um, this is a black suit for a client of mine here in Hong Kong. He's a pilot and he's from South Africa. Look how sleek this is. Beautiful Vitali Barberis fabric. It is just so soft on the touch. Peak lapel with my dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching and gorgeous, glorious lining. This is 5% cashmere and 95% wool from Vitali Barberis. I want to show you a very interesting project I just finished. This is a gorgeous black suit jacket that I finished for my client in the UK. He is a English Premiership footballer, okay? He, it is black tie poolside. So for black tie poolside, I made him a one button peak lapel linen suit. It's got pants with it, with minimalistic lining. There's nothing going on inside except for the yoke of the shoulder, the sleeves, and, and uh, the, the, the seams that are covered. Otherwise, it's see-through. Look at that. Can you see me through it? Right? Isn't it awesome? So I always get asked, what do I do for a beach wedding? What do I do for uh, a pool wedding, an outdoor wedding? I mean, I have a solution for everything. So this guy goes, it's poolside black tie. What do I wear? And I said, I'll make you a black one-button uh, linen suit or linen tuxedo. We can adorn it with satin. All sorts of interesting stuff here going on all the time. If you don't believe me, I can't help you. But what you can do is you can believe me and you can come on this magic carpet ride with me day in, day out uh, and, and just enjoy yourself. I'll take your questions now before I go. Thank you so much. If you've got good questions, I'll stay with you. If not, I'm going to uh, get out of here. Okay, so. This is the watch that I'm wearing today. Lots of requests for that. Uh, I won't reveal who he plays for. Um, it is not a Richard Mill watch. I don't come to New York. I'm very happy here in Hong Kong, Todd Harris, but you can send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website and then I can make you something amazing. I'm originally from Hong Kong. I am in Hong Kong and I will always be in Hong Kong. <clears throat> um, so. A shipping to any country is a flight. So shipping to the UK is 12 hours. I need nine weeks to ready and deliver a new suit to you. Okay, I'm that busy. Uh, I'm located in Hong Kong. I've been doing this for 24 years. This is my 24th year on the job. Newport, I'm grateful to you. My website is samstaylor.com, S-A-M-S-T-A-I-L-O-R.com. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I have worked with the royal family. I've worked with Prince Edward uh, a number of times. My father has an MBE from the Queen. Uh, when am I going to be touched up consensually? Maybe on Wednesday. <laughs> Tarzan, would you like to touch me right now? They want you to touch me. 
You sure? Mira, do, would you like to touch me? I'm not getting consent from others. Nelson, do you want to touch me? Come. What are you looking for? Indian suit. Indian suit. What do you mean Indian suit? Nehru suit. What Nehru suit? Pingo yanda yana. Uh, I've worked with many, many celebrities, so I don't know who is the biggest. Uh, have I worked with Prince Andrew? No, I think my father has. I know he's definitely worked with Sarah Ferguson. Um, tell me, Fork Fight, how funny my videos are. I think they're funny. I wouldn't shoot them otherwise, but I never watch them after shooting them, and I just post them, right? I don't even watch them. So actually, I don't know how funny they are or how crude they are or how crass they are. I just don't have time to, to watch them back, right? Uh, and I'm listening to my own voice every single day. My favorite fabric is the one that I'm wearing now. I, I, I don't like these questions. It's fine if you ask them, it's silly. Uh, uh, you know, it's like asking me what's my favorite child, right? Give you a celebrity example. I've worked with both President Cl uh, Bush's, President Clinton. I've worked with Russell Crowe, Kevin Spacey, Sigourney Weaver, Harry Kane, Meghan Markle. I don't need to convince you to do anything. Uh, I couldn't care less if you buy a suit from me or not. Uh, I'm gonna kill it every single day, no matter what. I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, my favorite child. <laughs> I will let you bully me into an answer. Uh, uh, I'm grateful to you, Fork Fight. I appreciate you. I bench pressed two plates each side. Uh, what the suit called for prom? What school do you go to that your English is so atrocious? I gift wrap black guys. I gift wrap any color guy. Uh, if you're really in Hong Kong, uh, you need to come buy a suit. Uh, there's no guarantee you'll get a video, right? Uh, but there is guarantee you'll get a great suit. Uh, my favorite race, gosh. Uh, I'm very happy I'm Indian. Uh, you know, I was always gonna have children from an Indian woman who's just like me. Uh, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I don't know if that gives you any insight, but I couldn't care less, right? I have all types of friends. I have all types of colleagues. I have all types of employees. I have all types of clients, right? This kind of shit doesn't matter to me, right? My own personal lineage did. Okay, I wasn't gonna be the one who tarnishes my lineage over so many uh, years and stuff. Uh, and yes, I did say the word tarnish, um, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, I was always gonna keep my lineage uh, pure. Uh, but I've done that, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't care less. Uh, and stuff, what comes after, my job is my children, right? And, and to be responsible to them. Uh, I look forward, Newport, to meeting you when you were in Hong Kong. Uh, I don't even know, understand what customized Palestinian means. Uh, the most reasonable price suit you can buy, the lowest price is 650 US. Best weather for Florida, best fabric for Florida weather, same like Hong Kong weather, lightweight wool like I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing a Vitaly Barber Super 120s. It is paper thin. Uh, you should, none of you should do any drugs. Uh, uh, I'm just not into narcotics uh, and I'm not even into alcohol, but don't do drugs. Uh, suits are better than watches, of course. Who's gonna see your watch? No one's looking in your wrist. Uh, with me, everybody can see me coming. Uh, you know, I light up a room that I walk into without without fail. Uh, I don't have a wig on. Uh, I am the Indian Adrian Brody. Uh, I very rarely make my Kahuna suits, but, I, but I've done them uh, a number of times. I appreciate all your love, Sandro Petrovich. Uh, I do virtual sizing all the time. That's basically what I do. Um, I think a dragon tattoo is not fashionable and it is completely unsustainable. Uh, I don't think I have an English accent. Uh, I pay my taxes, hell yeah, it's 17% here in Hong Kong, of course we pay. There is absolutely no point to tax evade in Hong Kong. I prefer skinny ties. A purple jacket is rock and roller. I made plenty of suits that I was disappointed in, but that's on the client, not on me. Uh, you know, the safari jacket that I've just shown up, I, I love it more than the client loves it, you know what I mean? See, I have balls, right? So I brought their vision to life. And I don't think they have, they, they, they have enough balls to wear their own vision. Uh, and that's pretty much it. First time I've been told I look like Saman Khan, I probably look like Akshay Khanna, not Saman Khan. Uh, my favorite food is Peking duck. Um, I can make you a gray suit. What is your deadline? You need to send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Then only can I wake you, make you something amazing. Uh, my business has been in operation for 66 years. I am 24 years on the job. To get started working with me, you need to send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, and then I can make you something amazing. I've been on Your Mom's House podcast a number of times. Uh, I'm grateful to all of you guys who 
have uh, seen me there. And, you know, I appreciate all you YMHs out there. I'm located in Hong Kong. My favorite suit is the one that I'm wearing. My favorite suit is the, the safari suit that I just made. I think is awesome. My website is Sam's Taylor, S-A-M-S-T-I-L-O-R.com. I got into this work because I wanted to bring my client's vision to life. My suits start at 650 US. I ship to the United States, multiple packages daily. It is my biggest market. I do stuff for prom, but I think you're out of time. I need nine weeks. Uh, I am a businessman first. Before that, I'm a human being, I think. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm not a human being. Uh, did, did Tom really give me that much publicity? I hope so, and I am grateful, I truly am. Uh, it's been a different world for me since Tom and me got together. Uh, I'm not sure which suit is the one that I made you. Uh, my energy is wild. I am a fun and genuine guy. I, you know, I don't know if everybody finds me fun, and I don't know if I'm not I'm that much fun when I'm out and about. But I'm fun at work for sure. I've been to New Zealand, and I want to come again. It's such a beautiful country. I'm definitely not of Tamil descent. I'm Cindy. Uh, so if you're six, if you're one ninety eight, I'm one ninety three. Just wear a suit. Uh, I look like the Italian Mafia, I don't think so. Uh, I'm too scrawny, uh, but I, pre I take it as a compliment. I'm not Sicilian, I'm not part of the Mafia. First bespoke suit, I mean, it just depends on what you have. I mean, you could have 20 suits, but not have a bespoke suit. It doesn't matter that it's your first bespoke suit, it's what you already have in your wardrobe. Uh, I, I'm so grateful to you, Frederick Erica. Um, I am definitely the Riddler of Hugh Jackman. I'm, 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 I'm with you on that. I've lived in Hong Kong my whole life, bar four years, three years in New York and one year in London. Uh, there are plenty of small Chinese boys on my Instagram feed. By the way, TikTok, I hope all of you are following me on Instagram, at Sam's Taylor, S-A-M-S-T-A-I-L-O-R, uh, because our, our, all my content, my live streams, everything on a daily basis, my stories, long form video, short form video, tiny video is on Insta, not everything is on TikTok. And I don't live stream on TikTok all the time. Uh, I did not see Chris Pratt shout me out. If you really did shout me out, send it to me, please. Uh, I have no plans to be part of the mafia. I, I, I have no interest in illegal activities. Uh, everybody asks for weird stuff, you know what I mean? I'm the center for weird. So it's no specific uh, uh, group. I specialize in Neapolitan cuts. I just showed one off for the, for the English Premiership footballer. I have no favorite nationality, uh, but I'm very proud to be Indian. I like guys who buy suits from me. Other than that, it stops there. Uh, I don't like any other guys. Um, what brands of clothing do you recommend, not including mine? Versace, without a doubt. Uh, TikTok is banned in HK, but I stream and post off a VPN. Uh, I know I look like Adrian Brody. I've told, been told this a million times. I can't see it, but I've been told it going back 20 something years. It's, it's crazy. Uh, after you won the Oscar for Pianist, I've gift wrapped many Mexican boys. Um, pop. Sanusan, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying, but if you'd like to work with me, please send me your measurements to the measurements charts on my website, then I can make you something amazing. I think my suits are better than Versace and much more reasonably priced. I don't visit New York. I used to live there, though. Uh, I've never watched Peaky Blinders. No interest. I don't have time for this stuff. But I know the fashion from it well. Uh, I, if you have only 200 US dollars or 250 US dollars, go to Uniqlo and, and buy suits from there. Uh, I think the Versace stuff is just incredible, uh, and I especially love the jeans. Um, I can't remember the names of the NFL players that, I, that I've worked with. I can't remember everybody's names. Uh, I don't even know what is fluoro. Uh, I, I have no clue. Speak just regular English with me. I'm, I'm not that intelligent. Uh, I've gift wrapped many small Australian boys. I'm definitely not a wannabe mobster. Uh, Dome fabric is fine. If you can get your hands on it, go for it. Uh, don't know anything about Hiroshima or Nagasaki. Uh, my most expensive suit I've ever made is 10,000 US. It was a Piacenza Vicuna uh, cashmere. You don't know what Uniqlo is? <laughs> I can't help you then. Uh, no, you cannot have something in place by June. If you're coming to Hong Kong, you come in and you, you purchase from me personally. Uh, I don't believe you in my shop today. Uh, I appreciate your love, Ain't Madayata. Uh, I lead a very interesting life, that's for sure. Uh, my father's right here with me in the shop right now. Uh, culturally speaking, we're the best tailors. I am the best tailor. There's uh, nobody else better than me. 
I pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the number one on the globe right now. Uh, I have pink color suits. I'm the king of pink suits. I have every color suit. I love the suits in Goodfellow. They, they look amazing. Uh, no discounts. We don't do discounts. I can make the KG5 uniform, but in the fabric that I have, not the fabric that they, you know, uh, the, the, the pr proprietary fabric. I don't have uh, access to that. Uh, you have to buy a suit if you want to be gift wrapped. I'm not wearing one of my Cartiers today. No, I'm wearing a Voila. My suit started 650 US. I work 98 hours a week, 99 hours a week, I believe. Uh, my suit started 650 US. Uh, what color is best for suits? Blue, uh, if you're really looking for an answer. But whatever color looks good on you and makes you feel great is good. I'm not homophobic. Uh, Hong Kong is definitely part of China. Uh, it depends on what you have in your wardrobe. Shane Velho, you build a base with uh, solid color suits and then you move up to pinstripes. Uh, the, the business started 66 years ago, well before my time. Um, I don't know what is a Kariba. Uh, it just depends on the client and how busy we are, how long we take for the suit and whether they're willing to pay the, the overtime or not. I work about 99 hours a week. I have a lot of suits personally. Uh, I have met many Ecuadorian boys. I'm located in Hong Kong, no refunds. We take cash up front. Uh, and then that's basically it. I work Monday to Saturday from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sunday from 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. I speak English. I do wear bow ties. You'll see many videos of me in bow ties on my feed. Uh, sleeveless suits are awesome. Go for it. I work with Latino boys. I don't know what is my net worth. I don't count these things. Uh, my suits start at 650 US. I can tell a cheap suit from expensive suit from far away and so can everybody else. It, no matter how morbid, morbidly ob uh, obese you are, I can gift wrap you, no issues. Uh, you have to buy a suit, you cannot just want a suit. Uh, if you are in the United States, you need to send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. My personal favorite lapel is a peak lapel. I'm six foot four tall, which is 193 cm. Most expensive suit I made is 10,000 US. I need nine weeks to get a suit to you. I don't wear hats. My accent is unique to me. I speak English. Uh, I don't really care. I have no preference between Asian boys or Latino boys. It's not a Richard Mill, no, it's voila. I work 98 hours a week, 99 hours a week. Uh, my suits are 650 US, they're half the price of an iPhone. Uh, if you can't afford that, then we're living on different planets here. Um, socks go to Paul Smith. I'm not annoyed at the questions right now. Uh, I, I don't really care, right, about Caribas. You know what I'm saying? I care about the kind of stuff that I make for my uh, uh, clients. Pascal, thank you for the love. I'm glad you like the safari suit. Wear Paul Smith socks. You can just walk in, but what if we're not free to help you? Uh, you want $10,000 US cash? So do I. Uh, you have to meet me in Hong Kong to get a suit. Otherwise, send me your measurements to the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make something amazing. Yes, my suits are 650 US. I like spending time with my children when I'm not working. Rian is doing great. Leopard print suits, no problem. I've done them a ton of times. Uh, I don't travel to the United States. I don't leave Hong Kong. You have to come and see me here or you send me your measurements and we do this virtually. Wear Cole Han shoes. Wear Cole Han shoes with your suit. Uh, I don't dream about suits. I dream about gorgeous women. That's all I dream about. Uh, I have girls in the back, plenty, yes. Uh, I don't know what is mass debate. Uh, my son likes soccer. Most definitely he plays it virtually every day at school. My store is nothing big especially not in uh, foreign terms Western terms I don't own anything <laughs> I own my watch uh, that's about it uh, I haven't thought about child labor to cut costs I in fact I don't I, I, I only think about more skilled labor I'm not worried about the cost the better quality the labor the better quality of my product uh, the better I, I, I can make suits I, you know what I mean? and great suits sell themselves Every guy and woman have been wearing suits for hundreds of years, every single day, okay? If you're not wearing a suit, you're the one who's not fashionable. Suits are not in fashion, out of fashion. You know what I mean, it's just a nonsensical question. It's, it's, it's very naive to ask such a silly question.
I've been to the United States many times. I lived in New York for three years. You need 650 US dollars to give me to, to for me to make your suit. Start with a black suit, then a blue suit, then a gray suit. Uh, I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I need nine weeks to deliver a suit to you. I was born in Hong Kong. Uh, I am not related to anybody except for my children and my father. Uh, a suit is a jacket and a trouser, correct? Uh, I can help you pick the colors and patterns or you can pick them yourselves. Uh, my clients piss me off all the time. Um, there are no guns in Hong Kong. There is no violence, there's no rape. Uh, we're just not built like you guys. Uh, Lee's favorite current trend is this baggy ass shit that, that guys and girls are wearing. I mean, they look stupid, right? And it's just lazy, they just wanna cover up their laziness, they don't wanna stay in shape, they don't wanna eat good. Um, I don't know, Southern US customs, I, I don't live in the United States. Uh, I don't make underwear. Well, actually, that's not true, I do make boxer shorts. I make boxer shorts all the time. Uh, a vest and a shirt do not come with a suit. It's a stupid fishing question. So that is the question that pisses me off. You know, what, I mean? what comes with a suit? When I tell you, you ask me in price of a suit, a suit is a suit, and that's it. A three-piece suit is a three-piece suit, a shirt is a shirt. <clears throat> I don't know what is Mr. Beast. This is the watch that I'm wearing so many times I have to show it off to you guys. <clears throat> so many guys come in for custom boxers, you'd be surprised. So many guys, you know what I mean? I don't know why that surprises you. Uh, my favorite Bollywood movie, there's two of them. One is Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jange. The other one is Kabi Alvida Na Ke Na. Do you guys know those films? I do own a Rolex, yeah. Uh, my favorite fabric to work with is lightweight wool. Custom boxes are dumb. <laughs> no, you are dumb. Uh, goodness me, ask silly, qu silly question. Biggest challenge is crossing the road, right? Uh, you could get run over. I would never move to Dubai. I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, uh, watching the Barbie movie. I don't have a Bugatti. Uh, <laughs> um, I appreciate all the love that you guys are giving me. Uh, uh, are lightweight boxes warm? I don't know. <laughs> I don't make my own boxes. I buy them outside. Uh, I can make custom boxes with a butt flap. I think lightweight wool suit has more versatility than a linen suit. But if you have a lot of suits already, then you can add anything to your wardrobe. I am the top G. I work seven days a week. Uh, I am famous locally, first and foremost. I always get stopped to ask for a photo and video. Uh, <clears throat> what's the most expensive thing I own? I don't know. Probably my houses. <laughs> I make shirts as well. I'm making the shirt I'm wearing. I made the shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, I wish more people would wear green. I love women. I don't vape. It's, it's really, really odd stuff. I appreciate your love, E. Grant. Thank you so much. Suits in Asia are exponentially cheaper than in the West. Yes, 100%. Uh, I have a lot of favorite unique details. Uh, everything about the stuff that I make is unique and it's filled with details. I've been on the job 24 years. I can make a purple joker suit, no issues. I've done it a thousand times. I do wear an undershirt. Uh, I think stretch band fabrics are awesome. Uh, I you can get my suits online, Vivek, just send me your measurements with the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. I'm not a dance monkey, so I'm not gonna get up and show you my suit. I work with dairy farmers all the time, 100%. Devin, I appreciate your love. Uh, you can wear shirts from me, just your, apparel, just your apparel, just send me your measurements. Uh, short leg suit recommendations, I would not worry about anything, I would just vest in me, I would like, make you look amazing all the time. My suit started 650 years. My racehorse is doing great. I cannot wait for him to run again. I'm a sexy Indian boy, uh, that's for sure. Uh, if I, if I, I would love to own a Rolls Royce. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Uh, I don't really give a shit about lab-grown fibers, natural fibers. I'm not interested in any of this shit. I don't have any competition. There's nobody close to me, Jesus. This is the silliest question ever. I'm not half Chinese, I'm 100% Indian. Uh, you can send me your measurements for boxer shorts. They cost 220 US dollars each. 
I can make you the suit for American Psycho, but I cannot get you, possibly get you the same fabric. Uh, the, my personal favorite suit is the one that I'm wearing. Uh, you can live in Hong Kong and not know any Chinese. Linen suit will start at 850 US dollars. <clears throat> I'm six foot four tall, 650 US for a suit. You can wear the suit backwards, that's a brilliant idea. I am not stressed, far from it. I love Hong Kong, it's just awesome. Uh, the boxes I sell, you think 220 US is expensive? I don't think so, man. Uh, most expensive suit I've ever sold is 10,000 US, I'm not the owner. Uh, best fact, go to Uniqlo. Just buy your undershirts from Uniqlo. You know what I mean? Don't, I sleep five hours to six hours every night. My dad is still working. He's right here right now. I am an Indian boy, yes. I make and fit my own suits, absolutely. I think the Chinese government is brilliant. Everybody tells me I look like Adrian Brody. Everybody outside of Hong Kong. Uh, you can wear a lightweight suit in warm weather. It's always warm in Hong Kong. I don't take naps. I wish I could. I wish I had time to. Uh, the most expensive suit I made is because of the brand Piacenza and the fabric, 100% by Kuna. I work 99 hours a week. Do the math. 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Saturday. 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sunday. Uh, secret to gift wrapping that I cannot reveal. I, I'm not sure what you mean by the ring jacket suits. I used to play basketball when I was much younger, when I was a teen, but not since a teenager. I will not come to Canada. I appreciate uh, the invitation, uh, but I'm happy here in Hong Kong. I'd rather you come to Hong Kong. Joe Grubman, thank you for the love. Daniel, my shop is in Hong Kong. My suits, Jack Brody, start at 650 US. Uh, buy a 100% polyester shirt. If you don't want wrinkling, it'll still wrinkle though, um, but I don't sell that. I don't tailor for any other brand except for mine. 5D Fit is coming January 2024. January 12th, 2024 is the release date for the 5D Fit. Favorite thing about Hong Kong is that we don't get shot here. Mm. I love Taiwan, absolutely brilliant country. It's so beautiful over there. Uh, you know, that's what came to mind, the armory, but you know, do you really want to pay the armory all, all that money? Trump did get a suit from uh, my father, 100%. I've made a five-piece suit so many times, more times than you think. Uh, I don't know what is masturbating. I am pro-CCP, of course, I live in China. I'm not as rich as I was before COVID, believe me. Uh, I, I, I wish I was. Uh, cops in Hong Kong have guns, but they very rarely ever, ever, ever pull them out because uh, nobody has access to guns here, right? Uh, I wish I was an agent for the Chinese government. Uh, that would be awesome. Is Laura Piana hood? I don't know, but it is good. Uh, I love my hair. Uh, I don't know my net worth. Uh, you won't overheat in one of my suits, 100%. Tim, so glad that you are joining us. When do we get started on your next project? Uh, I want to make you linen suits for the summer, Tim. I've just showed off an amazing one button black minimalistic uh, linen suit from Marzoni. Um, it, it is, it's for a black tie poolside wedding. Uh, love. Love Jeet. Where did she go? Okay, start checking these and get Mira. You did the shirts on these. Okay. Check it. This in his hand. What do you think? And take out the shirts. No, T Timothy Lynch. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Tim McLaughlin in New Jersey. I'm coming to Vancouver soon. Uh, my favorite race to gift wrap. I don't know. It 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 changes from time to time. I, you know, I, look. I I think probably my favorite race to gift wrap is is a, a gorgeous white blonde woman, right? If you really want me to pinpoint something, not that I ever think about it, right? You made me stop and think. Let me ask that question a number of times. Why? Because it's completely opposite of me, right? I'm a man. She'd be a woman. Uh, I'm dark skinned. She'd be white skinned. Uh, uh, I have black hair. She'd be blonde, right? Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, the opposite, right? So, so that's pretty much it. But I'm not fixated on stuff like that. I, I couldn't care less. I don't see color when it walks through the door, right? Uh, that's just not the way I'm, I'm wired. 
uh, I never laugh. I'm extremely serious. Seriously, <laughs> I think Ted Baker suits are great. Uh, uh, amazing bang for, for the buck. Uh, uh, and, and yeah, you heard me say that. My goodness, everybody loves my watch. They're just curious about it. Here's the watch I'm wearing today from Wallah Watches. You can find them on Insta at Wallah Watches. You can send them a message and you get a discount based on your relationship with me. Uh, you can see me in Vancouver and say hi, no problem at all. You'll have to keep a lookout on my Insta to see when I'm there. Uh, the Horny Hawaiian is back in Honolulu. Uh, 5D Fit being released January 12th, 2024. Uh, I'm with you there, Waylon Petticord. Uh, I don't know if I made a suit for a Chinese triad. They're pretty undercover, right? Um, my suit started at 650 US. I am Indian 100%. Uh, get your prom suit from me if you've got time left. Uh, I need nine weeks. I like Sapir's new song a lot, a lot. Uh, I appreciate your love, Burner. You can buy one of the suits, Max, and I can send it to the United States. Please send me your measurements to the measurement chart on my website, and then I can make you something uh, amazing. I've never been to Kenya, but I'm coming soon. My network is my net worth. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, DOH69969. Uh, definitely my network is my net worth for 100% sure um, my your prom is June 9th no we've run out of time sorry uh, I wouldn't worry about shipping I'm cool with trans girls what is a trans girl uh, is that a guy who's now become a girl I have no plans to uh, uh, move to America black people are very welcome to my shop uh, Michael Docker 25 appreciate your love I can gift wrap a lady boy, no issues whatsoever. Uh, Eric is locked in my dressing room. Hey Shane Gibson, great to see you this side. Um, the secret to my harassment is I have balls like nobody else does, you know what I'm saying? I'm never scared of getting canceled. I am never scared of anything. I'm just scared of dying and, and be getting diseased or getting like cancer and shit like that. Uh, other than that, I'm not scared of fucking anything. Uh, shipping is a flight. I'm coming to New Zealand soon. Check out my Insta stories to see when I'll be there. And then I happy to meet you uh, and shoot a photo or video with you. I went to NYU. If you're asking about college, uh, I'm okay with my website. I, I wouldn't pay anyone to do my website, right? Uh, someone can do it for me for free. Uh, I need to be happy with it, obviously, and they need to support it. And then I will support them by giving them recommendations and shout outs and stuff. Uh, I think I have decent sized balls. Um, you know, the women that... Uh, uh, I sleep with, enjoy fondling them. Uh, yes, you heard me say that. Yes, stupid question, seriously. Uh, you want to come and humble me? Go for it. I can make you a gold Saul Goodman look. You can pop into my shop, no issues whatsoever. Non-neutral, I would say green. I went to NYU in New York, yes, 100%. I didn't go to NYU in Shanghai. I've gift wrapped so many Chinese boys. I do look like John Wick. Eric's voice is so deep because he swallowed his balls. Uh, my dad makes suits for his own clients, right? Uh, I get my confidence from within me. Uh, I love green suits, yes. A suit costs 650 US. I trained here on site uh, at Sam Taylor. I appreciate your love, 702. Uh, I don't want this guy, what's his name? The, the White House uh, jackers. Who are the White House jackers? White House Jacker, all the scrawny little guys that play for that one team, uh, Golden State. I don't want Golden State to win. I hope LeBron wins it. Um, other than that, I don't care who wins it as long as Golden State doesn't win it. Uh, as soon as they jack Trump and the White House visit and stuff, I thought that was, you know, uh, you know, how, how dare they use their, their their position as NBA champions to, to make that sort of like uh, political sort of statement. I, I, just, I, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, uh, it was just awful uh, and stuff. So as long as they don't win, uh, I'm happy they didn't win. So I woke up, I had a protein shake. Uh, I had two Americanos and then I went to work out and I drank another protein shake and then I had two boiled eggs and then I had a protein bar. That's what I've eaten so far today. Uh, good color for everyday suit is black. <laughs> I support Liverpool. Uh, I don't care uh, about President Trump uh, at all. Um, it, it makes no difference for me. I don't read books anymore. 
a, din a white denim jacket would look amazing on any guy, regardless if you're short or tall. Uh, I, 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 I think Cristiano is more handsome, uh, but definitely Messi with the World Cup win surpasses him now, because he's done, he's won the South American Championships, whatever that's called, Copa South America or something, and he's won the World Cup. You, you, Ronaldo only has the Euro. Favorite Indian dish is chicken uh, makhani. Uh, I'm six foot four tall. Uh, I cannot make bulletproof or fireproof. <laughs> I like North Korea, yes, uh, but I don't like it that they shoot missiles. Uh, I like plaid and stripes. I wear everything. Uh, if you're any short guy, fat guy, you know what I mean, whatever guy, skinny guy, come to me. I'll make you look amazing. Thoughts on your legacy? I have no idea who you are. What do I know about your legacy? I'm in Hong Kong. I have met Ronald McDonald so many times. Uh, I don't think aliens exist. I think ghosts and devils exist. I think God exists. I can only gift wrap you if you purchase a suit. I like Bollywood music. I like uh, Bhangra music. Uh, my favorite style of suit is single button, narrow peak lapel suit. Uh, Mira, what DJ Saxon, you didn't ask him anything. You sure? Okay. I've gift wrapped plenty of Irish people. It is not uh, 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 a, a Frank Muller. If I don't know our legacy, if I don't know the name of the brand name, then what do you think I think of it? Uh, uh, do I like interracial couples? Great question. I Very difficult to answer. You know, I mean, to each their own uh, and, and stuff. I like tribalism. Okay, so I like tribalism. I like the World Cup, right? I like nationalism, right? I like countries, okay? I like capitals, I like populations uh, and, and stuff like that, right? So, so if you like that, then, then you like purity. Does that make sense to you, right? So do I like interracial couples? I have no qualms or anything against them, right? But I like competition, right? I like nationalism, I like patriotism, I like history, I, I'm drawn to stuff like that. Uh, and, 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 and so, so obviously in order to, pr to preserve that, to keep that going, you need purity. Do you, do you, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, and many people will disagree with me, right? They're like, you can be anything. You can be born into racial and stuff. You can be any color, uh, and so forth and still represent any country. And I'm totally agreeing with that in totally agreeing with that, right? Completely, completely, uh, uh, agree with that. It's irrelevant, right? Um, but let me put it to you in terms of my perspective, okay? If we look at Natu Natu, right? The Oscar winning song. They say it's out of India, right? And, and great, and you know, these, these Tamils, they accepted the award and they say, you know, you know, first Indians to do it, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, they're Tamilian, right? And at the end of the day, intrinsically, they want separation from India, right? And at the end of the day, majority of them don't speak Hindi, right? They're not assimilated into mainstream India, right? And as much as I'm happy that, you know, in terms of Hollywood and the world perspective, that an Indian song won an Oscar. I also don't think of it as an Indian song. I, it's not a Bollywood movie, it's a Tamilian movie, right? It's not a Hindi song, it's a Tamil song, right? Do, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? So so I'm just wired that way, right? I'm just wired that way. This doesn't mean I'm anti-Tamilian or anti-interracial couples or anti-anything, right? You're asking me a question, I'm giving you the answer. I cannot feel allegiance to an, a Tamilian song. I don't feel that it's out of India, right? Because they don't embrace all India. Right, I embrace being from Hong Kong. I say I'm a Hong Konger, right, and stuff. But the 97% of the population here that's Chinese do not look at me as a Hong Konger, right? They look at me as an Indian, right, or or whatever the fuck they look at me, right? Do you, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? And that's what tribalism is, right? As much as I think of myself as a Hong Konger, uh, uh, no Hong Konger considers me a Hong Konger. Right? Uh, and what do I say? Fuck you? I mean, no. I mean, why would I say something like that? Right? It's, it's, it's their opinion and, and, and stuff uh, and so forth. Uh, and, you know, there'll be many Indians, you know, a lot of my staff only believe me to be a real Indian. Yeah, when they all met me and they see my demeanor, my accent, my personality, the way I speak and stuff, they, they, they think of me as a white person wannabe, right? You know what I mean? And when they get to know me, they, they, far from it, right? I carry the flag for India uh, more than any other Hong Konger. Right, so so you know we're, we're talking about perspective here, uh, and stuff. And my perspective is very very personal, right? So so that's a great question. 
So what what I think of interracial couples, what I think of people is completely irrelevant, right? You know what I mean? I'm wired a certain way. The main thing is that I embrace everything, right? But what I want to do for myself is what I want to do for myself. What I want, how I want to bring up my kids is how I want to bring up my kids and stuff, right? And and I have that right, and 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 that shit is more rights than the bullshit you guys spew about freedom of speech gives you the right to hate on everybody. Jump on a TikTok.